Later this afternoon, Acting Attorney General Viola Alapuzo testified about the allegation of the governor hosting a party for the, de for the then delegate candidate Joe Camacho. However, she was dismissed early because she says she was not an attorney of the office at that time, at the AG's office at that time. Public Auditor Michael Pai also testified on this issue. He says though the investigation is over, the matter is, was never resolved. George Hasselbeck will testify about this issue tomorrow. Meanwhile, we take a closer look at another subject of impeachment and the various reasons given for the use of law enforcement in escorting former Attorney General Ed Buckingham to the airport after criminal charges were filed against him. Whether the orders came from the governor remains an open question, but what's been said so far seems to only raise more questions. Acting DPS Commissioner Aniceto Ogomoro told the impeachment committee this week he was not at the airport that early morning of August 4th and did not know about the incident until the media broke the story. Ogomoro did say, however, that he asked his subordinates why they were there. The answer was that the instruction was coming down from uh, the deputy commissioner. The deputy commissioner is his older brother, Ambrosio Gomorro, who was part of the escort that morning. Although the acting commissioner said he talked to the deputy about the incident, he declined to answer the committee's questions about what he learned. I would say uh, it is fair for, uh, for me and for the deputy to come before you guys and do his own testimony. Ambrosio Ogomoro just received his subpoena on Wednesday and we're told he's scheduled to appear before the panel tomorrow. Meanwhile, other reasons for the escort were given by Port's police officers. Chief Jordan Colson said Police Captain Jermaine Nikaifis, the governor's driver and security aide, called him on the evening of August 3rd to request CPA's assistance in escorting the Buckinghams at the airport. It's a service CPA has provided in the past, he said, for other VIPs upon request. Yes, I said we would uh, render that support to him and uh, we'll call CPA, Ports Police Dispatch Office, to give them that uh, heads up. So, did, did Captain, did Jermaine say anything else to you in that con telephone call? He mentioned that uh, there may be a possible that uh, the uh, Ed Buckingham may, may be served with penal summons. According to a supplemental report from OPA, Kosum is alleged to have called his subordinates that night to instruct them to throw any penal summons for Ed Buckingham into the trash can. Kosum denies the allegations. He also said where his orders did not come from, in response to a question from Representative Fred Guerrero. Were you directed by the governor to uh, help Buckingham avoid the uh, penal summons uh, from the court? Sir, were, was, was I directed by the governor? Yes. Uh, no, sir. Port's police captain, John Rebuenag, said he was given this reason for the escort. The reason that early morning when I met with the uh, commissioner, I inquired as to why he needed our assistance. So the reason why he stated is that uh, Mr. Buckingham wants to not to be bothered by the media. He wants just to exit the vehicle and just enter screening area and just depart. Captain Nikaifis, meanwhile, invoked his Fifth Amendment right and right to legal counsel this week. He also had little to say in KSPN's earlier attempt at an interview. Can I just get a statement oh, no, no, from no, you? No, about no, I'm sorry. What happened? sorry. Yeah, We're going, yeah. Were We're you going. under instructions for the audience? Oh, no, no. No, no. no. no comment, I know you were not. Also from an earlier interview, Governor Fitio himself offered his reasons for the escort. But then your men, like Jermaine and, and the Ambrose Ogimoro, were at the airport that night. The AG sold everything that he had, including his car. So he asked my driver, Jermaine, to help, you know, uh, bring them to the airport. So Jermaine did, you know, but he, he used his uh, own uh, personal uh, uh, transportation. But KSPN learned that Buckingham actually had a rental car. We're told it was this red sedan, seen parked in the early morning hours of August 4th at the Aquarius Hotel where Buckingham used to live. And according to front desk staff, even if he didn't have that vehicle that morning, transportation to the airport shouldn't have been an issue. Does the Aquarius Hotel have an um, uh, airport transfer, bus transfer to the airport? Do you offer that service? Yes, sir. It's free. It's free? Yes, sir. Do you recall if that... Uh, your patrons or your guests are
are they informed that there is free uh, transportation to the airport? Yes, we inform them. Okay. Yeah, it's an airport, uh, airport drop-off and pick-up is free. Do you know if Mr. Buckingham was, uh, did you? Yes, they know about that. Yeah, okay. they do know about that. But they did not ask for uh, no. the free? They did ask uh, several times uh, back in the past, but this time they didn't.